I want to begin today by acknowledging His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Sir David Attenborough in creating what is becoming akin to the Nobel Prize for Innovation in Environmentalism. I'm almost also humbled to have been asked to speak on behalf of Prince William, who will instead join us virtually today. I am an exceptionally poor substitute, but I also know we all understand the need for His Royal Highness to be with his family at this time. As I was preparing my remarks today, I couldn't help reflect on Her Late Majesty the Queen. She is someone who was focused, committed, and demonstrated what could be achieved when you show fortitude and longevity. We need all those same characteristics to take on the environmental challenges ahead of us. It's now my pleasure to end this period of poor substitution by handing over, and it's my privilege to do so, to His Royal Highness, Prince William. Although it is the saddest of circumstances that means I cannot join you in person today, I am pleased to be able to join you in video form as you gather in New York for the Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit. Thank you to Jacinda and Mike for their very generous words. I'm very grateful to the whole team at Bloomberg for hosting you all. During this time of grief, I take great comfort in your continued enthusiasm, optimism and commitment to the Earthshot Prize and what we are trying to achieve. Protecting the environment was a cause close to my grandmother's heart, and I know she would have been delighted to hear about this event and the support you're all giving our Earthshot finalists, the next generation of environmental pioneers.